Hey there viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. That's a 2005 GMC, it's the Envoy. And it's got no low beams, according to the customer, and I brought it in, and indeed it has no low beams, and that's as far as I've gotten. I'll show you, because I know we have trust issues, but we turned the headlights on. Indeed, the marker lights are on up there. We have high beams. I can flick them forward, the high beam indicator stays on. And the high beams stay on, but low beams, we've got nothing but marker lights. Now we don't want to fall into the trap of, well, it's a trap of it just needs two bulbs. I assume somebody has probably checked them. I don't know that for a fact. So we're going to check ourselves before we even get too carried away here. Let me throw the high beams on. I want to see which are the highs. High beams look like it's the lower bulb. Yep, so this upper bulb must be our low beam. So I'll put the low beams back on because that sure would be something, wouldn't it? Just to find out if the thing needs just a couple bulbs, right? Let me get a pick here. All right, we got these things pulled up. I think the headlight should just pull out of here. There we go. Back when GM made it easy to change your headlight bulb. I know this seems silly to do this, but I did have a customer once that came in. It's actually a Chevy. It was a 99 Sonoma. I remember it was black. 99 or 01. And no tail lights, no low beams. And every single bulb was blown. He was an older guy and he often left his door open. Oh, okay, this got a couple buck connectors on it here. He would leave his door open and his battery would go dead. Well, he throw the jumper on it, which at, at that time of our lives, we didn't really have jump packs, we had battery chargers and he'd put it on nuclear. And when he would turn the key on, of course, all the lights would come on. And uh, the rest is history. You know, 18, 19 volts, whatever it was charging that dead battery at, it blew everything. Well, I want to break the connector here. But I'm not going to unplug it, I guess, for right now. It do, the bulb does look okay. I don't see a break in the element. Yeah, everything looks okay there. Yeah, I'll put a paper towel and stick it back in here. We'll get that clicked back in. So somebody's been there, obviously. I think the best thing to do is while we're right here, this is where we want our end product. This is where the voltage has to come. Looks like we have four wires. Two black wires, a yellow and a green. That seems like turn signal to me. But nope, should be because we got marker lights over here. And Another marker light, so we're gonna leave this right out. And then I guess the next thing we need to do before we go all willy-nilly uh, poking and prodding is we need to see how the system works, see what wire here is supposed to do what, and verify what we have and don't have, and then we'll just chase it backwards uh, to see what's going on. The other reason you'd want to look at the light bulbs too is because sometimes people will drive around with only one light bulb, one low beam, and let's say the fuzz never catches them, and then all of a sudden the other one blows and they didn't even know they only were down to one before. So that's another reason to just, you know, check the obvious. Okay, I'll pop up on your screen here. We have our headlights uh, diagram. And we'll take a look at this and see if we can make some heads or tails of it here. Let's see, so we are on the left side of the vehicle. So this is our left low beam, which comes in on the yellow wire, the dark green, and, and that's the wire color to be identified, right? We had yellow and we've got a green with a white stripe and two blacks. So, okay, so the two blacks are grounds. We can assume that they're good, but we're gonna double check because our high beam works and they, they go to the same ground point, but we do have a splice right here. So let's just grab a test light. Do we have any power on our yellow? If we don't, we're gonna go back to this fuse. And if we don't have it there, then we're gonna go back to this um, relay which runs both low beams and if that relay is good then we have to go back to the source of that relay which gets turned on by the body control module which must receive its signal from something else must be it receives its signal from the switch i imagine so before we get too excited tracing this all backwards let's go right here grab a test light do we have power on our yellow and ground on pin d so we'll check both of our grounds and we'll check our yellow wire for power Thank you. 
this little fella here. First thing we'll do is check our grounds. And to do that, we know that our high beam, our high beam works. So obviously one of our grounds works and one of our powers down there works. So we're gonna grab a, a headlight for a load. I'm gonna turn the high beams on. So let's see here. There's the headlights, there's the high beams, the passenger side high beam is on. We know that's our dark green wire. So I'm gonna lightly probe into the dark green wire and then I'm gonna check both of our grounds. That ground's good and that ground is good. Therefore, we must be missing power on our low beam. So I'm gonna remain probed into a ground and now I'm also front probed into a low beam. So let's turn the low beams on. So the low beams are on and we have no light, but we know we have a good ground, so that's easy. We've already narrowed down the circuit. We know we're looking for missing power and we have good ground. So we can plug that back in. We're done here at the headlight. We'll go back to our diagram, which I think it all was this under hood fuse box, if we remember right, it is. And we need uh, left low headlamp fuse number six. So let's check that out. Pop this off. And then this thing comes off. We'll set that somewhere. And we need one that says uh, fuse number six. And these are nicely labeled fuse number six, which should be this guy right here. Let's verify that in the legend here. Low headlamp left 10 amp number six. Okay, and that's with that's going to be powered up when the relay is commanded on. So right now I have the low beams turned on. So technically that should have power on it. So let's go ahead and grab us a ground here somewhere. Right off this bracket on the engine. Make sure our test light works and it does. So this should have power and it does not. However, if we provide it power, it should light up our headlights. So let me grab a jumper wire, proof of concept here. We'll hook our jumper wire to our test light. Grab a little power there. And if we're on the right fuse, ta-da, our headlight lights up. So hopefully you guys can see that in corner screen. I'll move you a little bit right down there. So there it is. That lights up both headlights. So uh, the passenger side one is also lit up. So we've learned something. We know that the wiring from our fuse all the way to the headlights is good. So now we have to go back to our diagram. Okay, here we go. So we know from here to the headlight and from here over to this headlight, that's, that's all good. We just need to, we wanna worry about this guy right here, the headlamp driver module relay number 46. So let's go check that. Um, we can assume that this power here feeding this re, uh, relay is good because if we follow this over, that is the same power supply for the high beam relay. So we can assume it's good, but we'll, we'll double check it, but our gut tells us it's probably good. So let, let's find this relay, number 46, and see what we have. Um, let's see. So we should have a full-time ground, so it's a power-controlled relay. So we should have one, one power here. We should have a ground here. And then we should have a power side switch right here on pin five. So let's find this relay here real quick. Let me set that to the side. Uh, number 46, let's see if it coincides with this. <clears throat> number 46 right here. So that's number 46. According to the legend, micro relay 46 HDM it says. So headlamp driver module. So that's this relay here. Let's pull that out and then let's just switch it with this guy because they're the same part number just to be sure. Oh, look at that. The headlights just turned on. Boom. So, bad relay. I didn't expect to find that to be honest with you. And we just swapped out with number 45 which is the fan. So. This video sucks. Just a bad relay. Just went through my stash of relays and I didn't find one. Uh, let me see if I can cross this number, see if it's something we can have today. Well, lucky for us, Napper had one an AR6100. Kind of an expensive little sucker. 
So I put, uh, so it's just a, a four prong relay, kind of an odd setup as far as the prongs go. That's the OEM one, that's the crappa one. I put the fan relay back where it was, so we'll stick the new one in here. It only goes one way. I'll flick on the headlights here and see if they work and make sure that they work. And they sure do, look at that, fancy. I really wasn't expecting that, folks. That's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. At least on this car, it's how it crumbled. I was hoping it was gonna be something cool, but we still just used some logical deduction to figure out what the problem was and work the system backwards and get to a resolution very quickly. All that's left now is to take his dingy headlights and make them like new again. So I'm gonna finish uh, cleaning up his headlights for this fella. Because now that they actually work, he actually wants to be able to see. So we'll do that and I'll get a little clear coat on them. If you've never seen me do that process, I think I made a video on that years ago. So I'll try to put a link for that so you guys can see that. And again, like I say, I can't make these things up when they come in broke. You never know. I always half think we're going to find something, you know, in the switch or something like that. But, oh well, at least it was easy. Why don't you guys take it easy down in that comment section. The questions, the comments, the Insta, the Facebook. You guys know what to do. Just my reviewers, if I can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching.